know what happened. I see what happened when she has Roth. It's scary. So. <laughs> Anyway, she doesn't like Star Trek, so she wrote the song because she can't seem to absorb, I mean, she just absorbed Star Trek when you hang out with geeks. So this is an argument between Death and I. We made it this way. Yes! Okay. Sorry, I forgot the chord. I was introducing the song, and you were, you were talking about nothing again. I okay, the so, oh, I love her. She makes her band legit. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is, she doesn't know any, you'll pick it up. This is an argument. I like Star Trek, and she doesn't. Why is it not okay? That's better if I make this larger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love how Cory said, she's like, don't forget the words this time. We played this, we played this we song. Tell about my failure, why don't we? We played this song a few weeks ago uh, at Comic Con in Montreal in front of the Star Trek TNG crew. We could not see the words at all. At all. Let's yeah. Just talk about my and the writer came up to us and hummed it, and he was like, oh, <laughs> ah, yes. Why is it not okay that I don't know anything about Star Trek? I find it so absurd that you don't follow the rules of this game. And, and when we're, we're discussing the board, I'd rather be trapped in the board than to just be through that conversation. I am just so surprised that you don't know anything about Star Trek. Well, it's okay that you think that Dark Vader is lame. Yeah, Vader, what's his face? I find it colossally hard to fade into this. Jump the car? No. Then don't change the station.